Uh, hi everyone, so today I'm upgrading my PC um, to the new uh, Samsung uh, 980 Pro. So it's actually a new SSD from Samsung that goes up to uh, 7,000 megabytes a second uh, read speeds and 5,000 megabytes a second write speeds. So let me open it for you real quick. I currently have in my PC a 970 Evo Plus, uh, Evo Plus which is a great great drive like um but it's 250 gigs and i wanted a bit or something a bit faster for my uh, gaming rig so on that drive so it's it's a 500 gigabyte uh, ssd so it's an nvme m.2 uh, pcie gen 4 as you can see pcie nvme gen 4 m.2 so it's a 500 uh gigs i'm gonna clone it real quick but i before that i need to like mount my vertical mount uh, mounted um GTX 1080 Ti. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, when the PC will be booted up. Uh, so here's what I'm doing. I'm currently taking off my Sabrent one terabyte NVMe SSD, which was going in this uh, M.2 bottom slot. The first one is like the Gen 4, um, which is directly linked to my CPU. So I'm gonna use that this one, the one where the uh, Evo Plus is plugged in to get it um, as fast as possible as like to get the least latency. So actually what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna plug this uh, 980 Pro in the bottom slot. I'm gonna clone it and when it will be cloned, this one will go on the top slot and this, uh, the second one, the separate rocket, will go on the bottom one. Cause like it's, it's the Gen 3, not a Gen 4. So uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do everything, clone it in front of you guys with like the graphics card uh, place and stuff, and we're gonna see the speeds after I cloned it. Alright, so I've put the motherboard back together. Let me put my graphics card in it so that I will be able to boot with it, and we're gonna see how much faster the new drive, the new drive is from my my old one. So what I'm gonna open right now is um software called uh data migra data migration. So it's from Samsung and it's really good. Uh, like, wait, disc one. I'm just gonna close all my, yo, sorry, uh, all my things that I, I can close uh, so that the files won't be um, used. Like, so wait, I shut down voice meter. Yeah, that's it. So now that there's only one thing, this is my antivirus that is currently on it. So I'm gonna clone it real quick and we'll see you guys after that. These are insane speeds. I'm transferring at uh, 667, six. Yo, I have 72 gigs that I'm transferring in like one minute. One minute, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get past the one gigabyte mark. I hope so. As you can see, it's still climbing. It is still climbing. I think I'm gonna get up to, yeah, one gigs a second. If I get past one gig, it'll be great. I've never seen that, like to be honest. Like from from my um my Samsung 250, like Evo Plus. Oh, am I getting? No, I'm not. Okay. I think I'm being bottlenecks. No, I'm not getting bottleneck, but like it's the end of the thing. Did it, it was so fast that it didn't have like the the um, the time to get it to like understand what, what it was doing. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty insane, like 700 megabytes a second, that's insane. My PC is making a, a, a shit ton of noise, that's, that's insane too. So I'm gonna finish that, boot on my new drive. I've recorded the time it, it was taken to boot with the old one, and I'm gonna be back. All right, so I have everything plugged in up, uh, except for my second monitor. So let's boot her up and see how she does. So as you can see, like uh, there's only two dims uh, lighting up because they are like a light lighting kit that I bought uh, um, off of Amazon. Uh, like they are like Corsair engines. So I, I actually have like 32 gigs, uh, but they are like the two dims that are not um, lighting up. So we're 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 gonna go in the BIOS, uh, select 980 Pro as our boot drive. Let's go in advanced and in. I think it is onboard device configuration. Let's go in uh, 
this one is going to gen 4 and the second one is gen 3 let's go for it save changes and reset and see if it boots up in my windows for now it seems yeah it's booting from my uh, new ssd there you go so let's see if it actually works and yes i've got my two monitors uh they're working fine all right guys so the system is booted up i'm on the samsung magician software i'm gonna test i'm gonna do the performance benchmark on the 980 pro 500 gigs Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm getting pretty massive jump from my 250 gigs uh, 970 EVO plus to my 500 gigs uh, 980 Pro. So actually, I'm getting around twice the sequential read in megabytes per second. So in France, we actually use um, uh, this O instead of B. O is not the same thing as B. I can't explain it, but like you can go on Wikipedia if you want to know. And I'm getting more than twice the um, uh, sequential read speeds, uh, write speeds here and read speeds here, my fault. So actually I'm getting 6,000 and se uh, 772 megabytes a second read speeds and 5,031 uh, megabytes a second in write speeds. So it's pretty insane. This one IOPS, I don't know what it means, but like uh i'm seeing it being like more than twice um the number i got like on the new one i'm getting more than twice the number i i had on my on my old one so it's pretty insane like yeah, i've i've never seen that these high performance like this new ssd like the 980 pro is like better than like the P ps5's ssd and the ps5 is not even out yet so samsung um like I don't know. I don't know how to tell you guys, but like, you are doing pretty insane stuff. So GG. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the comments like my um, boot speeds. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that for now, and I'm gonna see if it, if it's any better in like uh, montages and stuff. So yeah, see ya guys, and um, yeah, have a great day. Bye.